The Seasonic Prime TX1000 is one of the latest models from the Prime series. This unit is rated for 1000 watts of power and has a titanium efficiency certification. Among other things, this power supply is fully compatible with the newer RTX 3000 and 4000 series graphics cards, with an additional cable. However, given the price of these units and the competition releasing power supplies with native PCIe 5.0 support, can the Prime TX1000 be competitive enough for a market that is already too expensive, overcrowded and constantly improving in the RGB department? The Seasonic Prime TX1000 in many ways has been on the market for a few years now. However, it has been updated constantly and nowadays it makes more sense to have one, thanks to the new graphics cards that are using more power than an entire village. When we talk about pricing, well, it's safe to assume that this power supply will not be cheap, especially since it's a Seasonic that is rated for 1000 watts of power and the titanium certification. At this time of this review, the Seasonic Prime TX1000 titanium can be acquired for no less than 300 US dollars. However, in the grand scheme of things, this is not that bad of a price, especially compared to what other manufacturers are asking for in terms of similar units. However, what is impressive about this power supply is the warranty. Seasonic offers this unit with no less than 12 years of warranty. This alone should tell you everything about the internal construction of this power supply, as no other manufacturer offers a power supply of this wattage and with this warranty period. When we look at the design, this power supply looks identical with some changes with other prime platinum rated and titanium rated models. The casing is all black and the front where the fan sits has a lovely chrome plate that sports a honeycomb pattern which acts as the main intake for the fan. The sides of the power supply are not only good looking but they have a cutout in the metal casing which serves as a passive airflow space. More than likely, both sides will act as small exhaust ports for the airflow generated by the fan. On the rear of the power supply, there is plenty to talk about. We have a regular AC socket for the power cable and one switch plus one button. The first switch, labeled with 1 and 0, is the main power switch that turns on and off the power supply and your system. The square button is linked directly to the fan control system of the, well, fan of the power supply. This button will toggle between the two available fan operating modes, hybrid mode and normal mode. On the modular side of the power supply we have as usual the modular connector of the unit. As is the case with many Seasonic power supplies, all connectors are labeled using paint and not a paper label which will get damaged in time. There isn't much to say here, all the connectors are made from plastic and all of them are grouped accordingly to their usage. The cables included with the Prime TX1000 Titanium are the same cables used on the Prime units. Apart from the 24 pin motor bar cable which is stick and has sleeving protecting it, all cables are flat and have no sleeving on them. Flat ribbon stein cables are better in the sense that you can stack them and have an easier time routing them around your system. When we talk about the accessories, there is plenty included with this power supply. You have a user manual, 12 black zip ties, a case badge, 4 Phillips screws, a 24 pin jumper, 4 velcro ties, a power cable and a textile bag that contains the power supply. It's the usual accessory bundle of the Prime series and it works just fine. You get everything you need to get your system up and running in no time. Before we take the power supply apart, here's a quick advice that I have to include in every single power supply review I do. Do not, under any circumstances, open a power supply, especially one that has been used. The reason is simple. First, you will void your warranty. Second, you will void your life and soul in the process. A power supply that has been used might still have a lot of electricity still charged in its capacitors and other components. Thus, you messing with its internal components is a big no-no. With the front casing removed, we get easy access to the unit and its internal components. First, the fan of the Prime TX1000 uses a fluid dynamic bearing system and has a maximum rated speed of 1800 rpm. The model number of this fan is HA13525M12F-Z and it is made by Honghua. The internal build quality is great and what we've come to expect from Seasonic and the Prime series of power supplies. The filtering starts at the back of the power supply with two X capacitors and four Y capacitors on the PCB. Also, good to see that the smaller PCB at the back of the unit is connected to the main PCB of the power supply using connectors and not soldering. 
The bulk caps of the power supply are made by Rubicon and both have an operating temperature of 105 degrees Celsius. This power supply has been sold with different capacitors before, Hitachi, Michikon and now Rubicon. All these brands are good brands and their capacitors are top of the line. The usage of different brands for the capacitors comes down to the availability of the capacitors for mass production and in the last two years that has been an issue for everyone. On the secondary side, the capacitor used are made by Nippon, Chemicon and Nichicon. The APFC MOSFETs are made by Infineon and have the model number IPP60C7099. The bridge rectifiers are made by Vichy with the model number LVB2560. These bridge rectifiers are directly cooled by one of the metallic heatsinks in the unit. On the Prime platform, the supervisor chip is made by Weltrend and has the model number WT7527V. This chip is responsible for the protections offered on the power supply. Key components of the power supply are passively cooled by metal made heat sinks. You can see them all over the PCB. Testing a power supply was never easy, it requires complex and expensive equipment to do it right and to get an accurate result. However, that never stopped me and I will be using my testing system to see how good this power supply truly is. And to test a 1000 watts power supply you need something that will use a lot of power. An RTX 4090 Ti should do the trick, especially one paired with an overclocked i9 9900K CPU. With these two working together, the testing system uses no less than 720 watts of power and offers a good test for the power supply. We start with the efficiency and in this case the Seasonic Prime TX1000 reached an average efficiency of 94% at a load of 720 watts or 72% of the total capacity of the power supply. This places the Seasonic Prime TX1000 right where it belongs on the upper part of the chart, right behind the Seasonic Prime TX750. Measuring the voltages of the power supply is done using a multimeter and one of the modular cables of the unit. With the power supply at 72% load, the multimeter will register the deviation of the voltages. And here is the same story, with the Prime TX1000 on the first place, with little deviation. When we talk about the noise, there isn't any, as this power supply never went above 25 decibels, with the measuring device placed at the standard distance of 10 cm away from the system and power supply. Truth be told, a lot of power supply especially those that use a 135mm fan, will be quiet as the fan does not really need to spin that fast to deliver a good airflow to the internal components. The Seasonic Prime TX1000 is not a cheap power supply. However, when looking at other 1000 watts titanium rated models, the 300 US dollar price tag starts to look better. The highlight of this unit is the performance and outstanding build quality, which is why Seasonic has decided to offer this power supply with no less than 12 years of warranty. Not many can do the same. This type of power supply is what you will need if you are looking to use a new RTX 3000 and RTX 4000 series graphics card, especially in production work. Gone are the days of using 500 watts power supplies for gaming and the like. Now, some graphics cards will use that much on it their own. The design of this power supply is good but it's nothing new, as is the same, more or less, with the design used by the entire Prime series. That's not a bad thing, it's just something to keep in mind. There is also no RGB to be seen here and I love that. The cables are good, with flat ribbon style cables for everything except the motherboard 24 pin connector, which usually is the thicker cable and harder to make a ribbon style. All this being said, this is a great power supply, but you will pay for it and the availability might not be the best across the globe. However, do not get this power supply if you are not going to use it at its full capacity, that'd be just a waste and also a power supply has its maximum efficiency at around 70-80% to of its total load. Using such a power supply at 50% is only just wasting money and electricity. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more and also if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the subscriber star pages of this channel.